Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I am JB, joined by the man we all know as LaTroy. LaTroy Hawkins is in the cage taking some cuts, spending time with fans. LaTroy, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, JB. How about yourself? I'm, I'm really excited. I'm glad to get a chance to talk to somebody like yourself who's had such a long and storied career, saves against every club, and the fans are fired up too. So, fans, if you've got your webcam ready, push that red button, get in line, get some face time with LaTroy Hawkins right here. In the meantime... I will ask a few questions that you've already put on there. Hashtag chatting cage. We'll get them in the feed here at Twitter. And I'm going to go right to the top here, LaTroy. Uh, let's just go with this one from JoJo Allen. Sort of encompasses it all. How have you been able to have such a long and successful career? You know what? It has a lot of luck to do with it. I um, can't say that I work out more than any other guy as a professional athlete, but I, I've been fortunate enough to stay away from those major arm injuries like the uh, torn rotator cuffs and the uh, torn labrums and uh, Tommy John surgery. So I think that, that played into my uh, longevity. Uh, there you have it. Very simple answer and very clear. A little bit of luck, but a lot of work ethic as well. And now I'll follow that up with a more uh, subjective question, maybe one we don't know exactly the answer to, from G. Gray Fan 08. Who's had the biggest influence on your career? You know, early on in my career, I think the biggest influence had to be Kirby Puckett. Um, Kirby Puckett and Bob Tewksbury, those are the guys that took me under their wing when I was very, very young in, in the big leagues and, and uh, helped me, uh, taught me how to be a professional and how to take my job serious and go about my business. Uh, Tom Kelly, uh, my first manager in Minnesota, and uh, Dusty Baker and countless of Ed, Eddie Guardado, you know, just a few guys that definitely helped me along the way. Uh, absolutely. Those are uh, great names in baseball, uh, Tewks and Kelly and Puckett. Leading the way, helping us uh, enjoy uh, LaTroy's career. Oh, it's so successful. Saves against all 30 clubs uh, this month, in fact. We have another fan. A fan joins us in the cage. Ready to go. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your question for LaTroy? I am, I am Jack Bowen from Brooklyn, New York. Um, LaTroy, you've house. been through a lot in your career. Yeah, yeah, Brooklyn in the house. Um, you've been through a lot in your career. A thousand games, 100 saves, almost a hundred. A, a thousand strikeouts. You are one of the only players to pitch nine pitches and get three strikeouts, and twelve team stints. Um, out of all those twelve, what has been your most favorite years and why? You know, I think my my most favorite years had to be in Minnesota, because I got to play in the big leagues with the guys I played in the minor league with and made you know lifelong friendships and you know we were in each other's weddings and. You know, godparents, these other kids. Uh, so I think my first eight years was probably my most memorable. Uh, my most re memorable season was 07 with the Rockies when we went on that run and had a chance to play in the World Series. But, you know, I've done a lot of things in my career, and but I'm still missing that ever-elusive uh, World Series ring. And, you know, that's what I'm hoping to achieve before I retire. Uh, very exciting. I know the fans are stoked for you as well as Toronto's here in the midst of a chase into October. This is the Edward Jones chatting cage. That's the Troy Hawkins young fan just asked a great, well-researched question as well. That's why we like the chatting cage. Well kids researched. Get well researched. Brooklyn in the house. <laughs> Brooklyn in the house. Uh, I'm going to go to Twitter while we get another fan lined up and ready to go. And this one is from Ryan Durant, also known as uh, Durantula. What's the weirdest pregame ritual slash meal you've ever seen from a teammate, Latroy? Oh my God, I could just go on and on about you know <laughs> guys superstitions and pregame rituals but you know guys eating peanut butter and peanut butter and jelly sandwich or peanut butter and banana sandwiches every day at the same time guys wearing the same jock guys wearing the same cup I think Eddie Guardado wore the same cup his whole career Oof. so and it was more of a superstitious thing for him but it worked and if it works hey I'm all for it <laughs> That's right. If the results are there, you kind of can't switch it up too much. It's a big thing. It's the Edward Jones, Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I'm JB. That's the Troy Hawkins. You know him. Uh, we have a fan with us now. Hey, fan, what's your name? Where are you from? What's your question for the Troy? Hi, I'm Joe Kurtz from Brooklyn. And I'd like to ask you, who was your idol growing up watching baseball? My idol growing up uh, watching baseball. I grew up in Gary, Indiana, right outside of Chicago. And I was telling a story the other day. I used to run home after after school to watch Lee Smith come in and pitch the ninth because, you know, Cubs played the day games. And before I went to bed, I used to always watch the White Sox. So Lee Smith was one of my, you know, one of my favorite pitchers growing up. Him, Keith Sutcliffe, 
you know, those guys I, I, I definitely always wanted to be like. And go back a little further than those two guys. I remember Fergie Jenkins watching him pitch, and I was like, man, I would like to be like Fergie, Fergie one day. Uh, all great pitchers in their own right. And there you have it, folks, uh, the, the guys that Latroy Hawkins looked up to when he was a young man. Gary, Indiana, this is the Edward Jones Chad and Cage. Fans, get your webcam fired up. In the meantime, I will go back to Twitter. And this one is from at Jays for Days. Latroy, what's unique for pitching for the Blue Jays compared to the other teams you've pitched for and played for? What's unique about pitching for the Blue Jays? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I, I, I got this answer from Twitter. I got when I got <laughs> traded, the guy told me I'm gonna I'm, we're gonna show you how it feels to be to have a whole country behind you, not just one city. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty unique. That's that, I mean that's that's absolutely incredible. And he wasn't he was definitely telling the truth because having a whole country behind you is is pretty amazing. <laughs> no doubt about that. One of the perks of being in Toronto. There you have it, folks. Uh, I'll go back to Twitter again while I get your webcams fired up. Cooper underscore Joe wants to know, what are your hobbies outside of baseball? Um, being a super dad, that's one of my hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a hobby, but it kind of is. You know, I'm, I'm the, um, the soccer dad. I'm going here and there, you know, giving my – Given uh, doing this, all the things my wife do with my daughter, you know, when I'm not around, um, I enjoy watching TV. You know, all the shows during the season that I don't get a chance to watch, I watch them in the off season. I enjoy hunting. Uh, I'm a hunter. I like bow hunting, so um, I get out in the woods from time to time, and 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 a lot of times we, uh, if we're not hunting, you know, we go on family vacations. So I like to travel internationally. This past Christmas, a family and I went to Dubai, and you know, it was a great time. Wow, that's. That's quite travel. That's uh, big travel with a family, too. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd also like it now, as just uh, off the top of my head, at, when we look forward to your retirement, I now envision this series, the Troy Hawkins Soccer Dad, which will be something we'll look forward to many years from now. Uh, this is the Edward Jones, Chad and Cage. Another fan is in the cage with us. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your question for LaTroy? Hey, I'm Marco from New Jersey. LaTroy. You've been playing the game for so long, so I just want to know, what are you going to miss most about baseball once you do decide to retire? That's a great question. Um, you know what? I don't. I know I'm not going to miss actually playing the game. I'm going to miss being in the clubhouse with all my teammates, you know, being in the, in the training room, you know, just hanging out, the com camaraderie that we have, the chemistry, and just, you know, just – hanging out every day with, you know, 24 of your best friends. And I, uh, I, I'm definitely going to miss that part of the game, for sure. Uh, that is, uh, if we did a polling of the Edward Jones chatting cage answers about those types of questions, that does seem to be a universal thing. Troy certainly had the opportunity to play with a lot of great, great players. And missing that environment is something many players will do as they retire. Another fan joins us in the cage. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your question? Hi, my name's Dean. I'm from Stanford, Connecticut. I was wondering, when you're warming up in the bullpen, do people ever taunt you? Well, yes, they do. Um, I think over the years, it's gotten, def it's definitely gotten better with you know all the incidents between players and fans. But early in my career, it was, I, it was definitely a little bit out of control. But it's definitely gotten better over the years. MLB has done a great job with the security aspect and not letting people just you know, disrupt other people from enjoying the game. And, and I, I, that's, that's just happened over the years. So um, there, were some pretty, there were some pretty tough places out there, but, you know, they're all pretty good now. It's <laughs> definitely changed a lot. Certainly has changed, and that's a great way to put it, too, is it's not just about the player-fan interaction, but fan-fan interaction being more uh, family-friendly, a better environment to go, just enjoy the game, and just enjoy the game, and not so much the antics of other fans, a big part right. of what's gone on. Exactly. Now time for exactly. the EDJ question of the day. LaTroy, you recorded a save against all 30 clubs. Is there any particular save or a couple of saves or moments that stand out to you as the most memorable? Which ones will really, really you take with you into retirement? Um, I think last year we went, when I was with the Rockies, we went to San Francisco and swept them all three days. And I think I got to save in all three games. And that, and that's the most recent, but, you know, I'll, I'll definitely always remember that. Uh, that certainly was a big part of that uh, Rockies run right there, and uh, certainly something that would stand out, a sweep in San Francisco. This is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I'm JB. That's the Troy Hawkins. This is a fan. Fan, what's your name? Where are you from? What's your question? Hi, I'm Matt from Philadelphia. Uh, just wondering, who's the hardest hitter you've ever faced? 
Hardest hitter I've ever faced. It's a tough question. I faced a lot of hitters over my, in my, my time. <laughs> um, but when I was starting, I tell you what, Harold Baines used to kill me. And I know a lot of the young kids out there right now don't probably be like, Her Harold who? But Harold Baines could definitely hit, and he used to wear me out. <laughs> so I always remember <laughs> Harold. I actually have a signed jersey by him in my, in my game room. It always remind me of the toughest hitter. Harold that, Baines. That's awesome having the signed jersey too. And folks and kids, if you don't know who Troy is looking about and you're watching this online, open another tab and Google it. You're going to want to know who Harold Baines was. You're gonna have a, that'll help you out a lot. This is the Edward Jones chat. Sweet case. left hand stroke. Oh, so sweet. Lots of great questions here from fans for Latroy Hawkins. Don't miss out before we have to send him back to getting busy for the day. I'm going to go back to Twitter. Hashtag chatting cage will get you in the queue just on Twitter. Meanwhile, I'll get your webcam fired up. Are you going to keep around baseball? This is from Jonathan Brunel. Are you going to keep around baseball like coaching youngsters or looking for a shot at managing? Is that something you look forward to? Or, or what's your post, I guess, post MLB plans? You know what? I definitely won't be managing, that's for sure. But um, <laughs> I like to keep one foot in the baseball. Uh, I don't want to be completely out because I have a 14 year old daughter that's playing softball in high school. And, you know, I promised her I would, you know, help her uh, get better. Um, so I'll definitely do that, but I'm not going to be completely out of baseball. Um, hopefully eventually I, you know, can be a, you know, a general manager of a team, um, do some TV stuff, radio stuff. So, you know, there's a lot of things out there. I just got to, you know, pick which one I really, um, I really, really want to do mm -hmm. and, uh, go for it. Well, there's no doubt that that will also be successful. I think if we've learned anything about Latroy Hawkins over the years, Finding a way to win and finding a way to succeed is not something that's not in your wheelhouse, so we look forward to that. I want to thank you so much. We're wrapped up. That's our time. Do you feel pretty good? Do you feel like you had a good time in the cage? Oh, yeah. I had a great time in the cage, and thanks for having me. And You can invite me, ba invite me back whenever you want to. Oh, that's definitely – I'm holding you on that one for Latroy. No doubt about that. My thanks to Latroy Hawkins. All right. And, of course, fans, our thanks to you for being a part of the cage making it work. And we'll see you on the next round of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage.